Unit 7, Target 8. I can apply GCF and LCM in problem solving. In our last target, we learned how to find the LCM of two sets, two different numbers, and the GCF of two different numbers. And we can apply this now to story problems. My first example is the least common multiple example. At a silverware store, spoons come in packages of six, and forks, forks come in packages of ten. In order to have the same number of spoons and forks, what is the least number of each that must be purchased? The key here that told me that this was a least common multiple was the word least. So I take six, and if I'm purchasing spoons and I buy one pack, I'm going to have six spoons. If I buy two packs, six times two is 12, I'd have 12. Three packs, six times three is 18. Four packs of spoons would give me six times four, which is 24. Five packs of spoons would give me six times five, which is 30, and I could keep going. Now when I buy forks, they come in packages of 10. So if I buy one package, I have 10 forks. Two packages, 10 times two, I'd have 20 forks. For three packages, I would have 30 forks. I can stop there because I now have my first number that is in common. If I buy five packs of spoons, and three packs of forks, I will have the same number of spoons and same number of forks. I will have 30 of each. Now my second example is a greatest common factor example. Mr. Phelan is dividing his class into equal sized groups of boys and girls for teams in a basketball unit. If there were 12 boys and 18 girls, and each group is either all boys or all girls, what is the largest group he can organize? The word here, largest, tells me I'm looking for a greatest common factor. Largest and greatest would mean the same thing. So if I have 12 boys, I could have one group of 12 boys, 1 times 12. I could have two groups of six boys. I could have three groups of four boys, or I could switch that around, four groups of three boys, and six groups of two boys, or 12 groups of one boy. When I look at the girls, I have 18 girls, so I can have one group of 18 or 18 groups of one. I could have two groups of nine or nine groups of two. I could have three groups of six, or again, six groups of three, and that's all the different sizes. So basically, I've listed my factors of each one of those numbers. Now I need to find the largest size group he can organize, and we have to have the same number of boys in a group in the, that we have of girls. So I could have my largest, my greatest common factor in this case is six. It's the largest number both 12 and 18 have in common. So if I have two groups of six boys, and three groups of six girls, each of the groups are both going to are going to have the same number of people in the group, which is six. So the largest size group he can organize is with six people.